Hey everyone, this quick video will show you how to set up the VPN kill switch with IP Vanish on a Fire Stick or Android TV, Google TV devices. IP Vanish recently released their kill switch feature for Android TV systems, but it's been around for a while on Fire TV devices. Due to this important new feature that now covers all Android based streaming devices, we've moved IP Vanish VPN up to the number two position in our Troy Point VPN rankings. By the way, you can find our rankings linked in the notes below along with everything else that I reference in this video. Now I'm using the On 4K Pro Android TV box, but the same process will work on Amazon Fire TV systems as well. Now the first thing you want to do is install the downloader app through your respective app store, which would be Amazon App Store for Fire TV devices or Google Play for Android devices. And then it's very important to set the proper storage permissions for that app. Again, my tutorial for that is also linked in the notes below. Okay, I'm going to open the downloader app. I'm going to hit the up arrow on my remote, hit the OK button, and I want to open the free Troy Point toolbox by typing in 250931. Hit the enter button. Now, this is the first time I have visited the toolbox on this On 4K Pro Android TV box, so I want to add it as a favorite within the downloader app. To do that, I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds, add current page to favorites, and then hit save. The reason I do that is because this page has all kinds of applications that can be installed that aren't available within the Amazon App Store or Google Play. And I use this a lot in our tutorials, as many of you know. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Now, here are all of the important links that pertain to IP Vanish. That's important for me to differentiate between these different apps. The TV app is for Fire TV and Android TV, Google TV devices. And the mobile app is for phones and tablets. Now, if you are installing the mobile app, it's important to point out you don't need the kill switch due to the fact that Android that comes on phones and tablets, there's a kill switch built in. And when you go into settings within IP Vanish, you can activate the kill switch in that area, which will take you into the Android settings to do that. And by the way, you can get an exclusive Troy Point IP Vanish VPN discount by using this link here. This discount link you can scan this QR code here with the camera app on your phone or tablet, or you can use the link that I provide in the video notes below. IP Vanish does offer a no risk 30 day money back guarantee on their one year and two year plans. Okay, since I'm using a TV streaming device, I want to download the TV app. Hit install, done. I'm going to delete the installation file. There's never any reason to leave these on the device. They take up valuable storage space. And now I'm going to download Kill Switch. Again, this is only for TV streaming devices. You don't need it for phones and tablets. Install, done, and we're gonna delete that installation file as well. Now you may ask why I'm using the toolbox to install these applications instead of getting them through the official app stores. And the reason is these are always pointing to the most recent stable release of the IP Vanish application and Kill Switch app. Unfortunately, the various app stores are behind many times in the versions that they're providing. And by using these links here, you're always getting the latest and greatest because these are always pointing to the latest release of the applications. Now, if you want a screenshot tutorial in addition to this video, you can click the tutorial link here and that will take you to the Troy Point website where you can find that. Okay, I'm done with the downloader app. I'm gonna go back to the home screen. I'm gonna move down, go to the end of the list here and here are the two new applications that we just installed. I'm first going to go into the actual IP Vanish VPN app and I'm going to input the email address and password for my IP Vanish account and hit the login button. Again, if you need an account, link in the video notes below. Okay, I'm now logged into IP Vanish VPN. 
I'm going to hit the home button on my remote. And now I'm going to set up the Kill Switch app. Hit continue. And we have to log in with the same IP Vanish credentials that we use to get into the actual application. Same credentials apply here. Okay, once we've logged into the Kill Switch app, you're going to see here we need to accept and continue. Hit the OK button. And now the IP Vanish Kill Switch is ready to go. Now I briefly want to visit the settings section here. And really the only important item in here is if for some reason the VPN kill switch stops working, come in here and press that button. Re-request VPN permission. Okay, I'm going to click the big button in the middle to enable the kill switch. Top right hand corner, it says VPN is connected. However, it is not connected yet. We still need to connect the actual VPN application. But I do want to show you something. The kill switch is now on and there is a way to test if the kill switch is working or not. So I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote. Now I'm going to go into Analyti speed test. This can be installed through Google Play or the Amazon App Store on Fire TV devices. It's a free application. And you're gonna see nothing registers. Neither download or upload is working, which tells us the IP Vanish VPN kill switch is working the way it should. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Now I'm going to go into the actual IP Vanish VPN application, hit the connect button. First time you activate the VPN, you're going to be greeted with this, click OK. Top right hand corner, it now says VPN is connected. Hit the back button, the VPN will remain running in the background. Now let's try Analyti again. And you're gonna see the download and upload now begins to work. And you also see at the top, it shows what the internet provider is and it's showing the VPN connection. You can also move to the left side by clicking the left arrow on the remote. Hit the check VPN button and there's all kinds of information here. And what I suggest doing is just making sure that your IP address is not listed anywhere on this screen. And when I say IP address, I'm talking about the IP address that your internet service provider assigns to you not the IP address within the local network, which is the device IP address you're going to see there. You're going to see a lot of 192.168.1.25. That's the IP address within the local network. That's not the same as your outside IP address that your ISP assigns to you. Now, for those of you Surfshark VPN users asking about the kill switch for that service, I'm going to hit the home button here. I'm going to go into Surfshark, and you will see that this one is actually built into the application itself. So if you go into Settings, VPN Settings, you're going to see we can enable Kill Switch right here. And then you can also test that with Analyti Speed Test to ensure that it's working properly. If you guys have been following me for any period of time, you've probably heard me say, in my opinion, a VPN is worthless without a working kill switch. And unfortunately, most VPN services can't figure out how to get a kill switch working on Fire TV and Android TV, Google TV systems. Yes, there may be a kill switch toggle there, but the question is, is whether it works or not. Again, guys, everything that I referenced in this video will be linked in the video notes below. So be sure to take a look at that. I kindly ask that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my Troy Point YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this. And as always, thank you very much for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.